Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. I've been in the shop working on getting some projects done for a show that I've got coming up in December. It's a couple months away, but it's a chance for me to work each weekend to make a few more things. Um, one of the things that I find about doing craft shows is I struggle with the making things that I think are cool and I like and making things that I think are sellable and make mass production repeatedly uh, making things that you know will sell but maybe not are the most enjoyable or coolest thing to make so what I'm trying to do is I try to find a happy medium of cool things like this serving tray that I made on one of my past videos you know I think it's cool it's got kind of like the Big Bang Theory look with the hexagons and the atoms there um, but also making stuff that I think are sellable. Now, I don't know if anyone's going to really be into this kind of cool thing that I like, but you never know. A lot of times people will say, hey, you know, do something you love and the money will follow. Well, I think make something you find is cool and people will find it cool too. But with that in, uh, in mind, here are a few of the things that I've made um, and I figured I'd review them with you. Um, to showing what I'm doing to prepare for the show and uh, be interesting to get your opinions on some of the stuff I've made whether it's sellable or not now I've got a lot of stuff that I've had from a couple of years ago that is in storage I have not pulled this out these are just things over the last month or two that I've thought about making and that I'm in, in the process of making including some pens and some bottle stoppers and stuff like that but let me show you a couple of things uh, in detail so what this originally was, it was going to be a wall hanging, but I actually ended up putting it on my coffee table so I can put, you know, remote controls in there and my snacks and whatever books I might be reading. Uh, so it actually came out pretty cool. Again, whether someone else is interested in that, it's hard to tell. Uh, the next couple of things are these scroll saw segmentation uh, seagulls that I made. I made a couple different size and I figured it would be a good item to sell whether someone wants a single one or a double one or they want to you know have them as a pair and kind of buy them as a group but I just thought that these are items that were kind of cool to make and fun now whether someone's interested in them or not that's just another item I'm gonna sell the next thing I did is I got out the scroll saw and stack cut three of these uh, tree patterns um, I used a thin really thin uh, oak and then mounted it with some uh, black cardstock inside and then I took the entire thing and actually uh, put some nice backing on there with a nice hanger as well. And um, once I made it look nice, I actually uh, going to sell them for about 20 bucks each. And uh, I trimmed them out with some oak. And this is all done from, uh, most of this was made through pallet wood. Um, but, uh, but anyways, that's a $20 item. I think that will sell pretty good. You know, I haven't been uh, turning pens in a long time, but I decided to order some kits and, and throw some on the lathe and uh, got some spalted maple and made a nice uh, a nice pen here. Um, it's a twist pen. I've also used the uh, layered ply, I forgot what they call, uh, and then of course some e-pay, which is a classic look with the e-pay and the black. And I think these are going to be you know, priced right and I think they'll sell. I'm going to probably make about 10 more of those trim line kits that I have. Up next is a little three-tiered display. Now, right now, I currently have it for bottle stoppers. But what I did is I actually made the steps and uh, I made it a little bit modular so that I can remove the actual steps or runs there and uh, allows me to change it out if I want to do something different. Right now, it's for bottle stoppers. But if I want to display, say, pens or some other... Uh, a device I can easily pull that off make the change out and display something different so I have this odd purple colored cedar that I was using to make some bottle stoppers but I have actually have some oak that I'm gonna make some bottle stoppers on that are from an old pallet so let me show you that and I have these runners that that were I cleaned up nicely and I wasn't sure what I could use with them because they have some nail holes in there but, you know, to me, I think the nail holes kind of gives it character. So I lopped off a chunk of it, and I threw it on the lathe, and I thought I would make some uh, cool uh, bottle stoppers. 
see here, I'm turning two. I've got this one done. I'm ready to turn this one. But with these holes, they kind of give that kind of cool, rustic look. And it goes, see, it goes right through. Generally, I like to make two um, while I've got it between centers here. So I appreciate your patience with me as I start to uh, uh, work towards getting uh, a lot of stock built up for this show in December. Uh, the other thing is, is that I've been working on the attic, and it's just about there, but some you know trips to the dump and donating a lot of stuff to the rescue mission. Uh, so I'll be almost done with that, so I appreciate your patience. Uh, I'll have a build video coming soon with all of the stuff I'm making for the show. I'm, it's bound to happen that uh, within a week or two you should see one. So I appreciate you spending a couple of minutes with me. Uh, again, this is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks, and see you on the flip side. Get that wood working.